Good morning, we're out here day two, drifting the planes too. Uh, just heated up some breakfast, got some coffee going, and uh, we're about to head up to the driver's meeting real quick. than I originally thought in, in a sense um, but you don't have to go as wide as everyone was thinking we do which is kind of nice that we're not dropping tires as much uh, kind of midline through a lot of the sweepers so we'll go out uh, warm up the tires a little bit and then uh, hop out for some tandems
before we end out this video with this last clip, I just want to say if you're curious to know more about that top 8 battle, I did a video on just that battle alone um, and give you a little bit more in-depth detail from my point of view of what happened with that call. Stick around to the end of the video where you can click on the link to go back to that video. Alright, after comp, track is cold, nobody's on the track right now as you can kind of tell. It's getting a little darker because there's some shade. But I'm going to run you through what the Drifting the Plains 2 layout looks like on track. So slow motion kind of on my e-bike and show you where everything is. I'll explain it a little bit. So we start out by the scoreboard corner over here right next to the drag strip. Lead driver is on the left side. Chase is on the inside here. So we'll start going down this direction. Lead driver stay as wide as you can around this initiation corner. We'll come up to a single cone, the short cone, there's a double cone, and then the third cone. That's the latest you can initiate in this, um, in the start of your run. You'll swing it out here to the first rear touch and go, these two cones right here. That sets you up for the next corner. So you wanna stay as wide as you can right here. Basically where that crack is right there, start to slow down grab e-brake, drag as close as you can to that dirt, but also still kick the rear end way out to this second rear touch and go. Come through this corner right next to the drag strip. You have the inner clip with three lines here. You'll touch your front tires as close as you can to that. Come back through here where you started your run. This is outer zone, I believe two or a touch and go there's three lines right there kind of a midline you want your front to be as close to that as you can everyone kind of ran a medium line then we're going to come out to where these lines are where these two cones are that's a rear touch and go as well i believe number three you're going to hit your initiation touch and go for the rear touch and go number four you're gonna swing it across here and hit this wide, do a slight e-brake pull, it's a decel zone again in the same spot. And then there's a cone out here for final rear touch and go and your final outer zone along this big sweeper wall right in front of the announcer stand and spectators. So the zone starts right about here with these lines and you get as close as you can to this wall all the way out past, oh heck, and don't dirt drop because that's a hard dirt drop right there and you end your run. So it seems like it's really slow, but it's really fast. You're moving really fast through them corners. Um, yeah, that's, that's the layout. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one.